Vern, 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 what's up, man? Where's my windshield wiper on this thing, man? Vern, we need it. We're gonna bring you along just so you can squeegee our windshield. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name's Jonathan. Welcome back to Off Road Diaries. Day two of Easter. It's Saturday. Boy, people were drinking last night. I bet you don't feel too good this morning, do you guys? I feel great. Minus a little allergy or two. Kristen just got out of the shower. She's doing her woman things, whatever women do. Uh, Leia puppy dogs inside. Just gonna go putt around in a bit. I am trying my hardest to arrange a 1 p.m. big ride with everybody. And uh, I think it's gonna be pretty rad. So yeah, that's the game plan. I have to go out and do a little ripping really quick, kind of scope the area out, and I'll come back and pick up Krista. So let's go see what's happening from the top of the mountain really quick. Oh no! I didn't know that you guys were watching everything that was happening. You must have bonded down with me too. Came to the top because I want to give you guys perspective. If you've never been to Utah, Little Sahara is a pretty rad place. Um, for what it is yeah uh, you've got a whole face section you've got a campground area down there you guys can see look at all those campers guys so basically um y'all a lot of people camp here there's another campground called oasis and then white sands which is way out there there's a bunch of bowls in this section and then if you go that way past that wall there's a bunch of bowls over there they're all just kind of easy stuff uh, well, they're fun. Some of it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of climbing here. So if you got a rail climbing all over this section, it's pretty fun. And then you go to the back side, and there's tons of bowls. Some of it's weird. You can't catch a good line on it, which sucks. But there are some good lines back there too. But there's kind of two main lines, maybe three that people travel back and forth on. Anything else, it's always just weird because you'll get a good line, and then it's like. Ugh. So I just wanted to show you guys what it's like to be at the top of the mountain. This is probably one of the ha uh, tallest climbs there are at any of the sand stuff that I've been to. I think maybe Dumont's Big Bowl, they call Cop Hill, or, or uh, St. Anthony's Devil's Dune is fairly tall, but I think this one is the longest climb out of any of them. I may be mistaken, but it feels like it. Um, it's the hardest mountain I've ever driven to get up to. Okay guys, we're gonna go on a little pre-trip before the big trip and uh, have a little fun. It'll be fun to meet up with a bunch of friends and just go riding later on at one o'clock. That's kind of our goal is just to meet up with a bunch of our buddies and go have some fun. Yeah, and we got Krista now. Not sure. Not in sure. Sure is here though. Sure is here. We'll go and, I'm for also, and I'm also a little worried about how that tire is deflating. Yeah, it is. Like, I just don't want to risk anything. And honestly, like, even with the washboard, the pro bar feels pretty good. So, maybe later. I just want to put her around, get her out there. I yeah. miss being in the driver's seat. Not too much longer, though. to go into early labor. <laughs> My wife is going into labor. <laughs> Amanda, what's it feel like in there? I love it. Oh, oh, you love the bumps? Yeah, like the whoops, they're perfectly, so you just go up and down and up. Unless you get the chattery thing, then it's... Hey, John! Uh, yeah, the chatter. Yeah. Got this really sick Maverick R here, guys. 
Looks like it's fully. What up, G? What's up, homie? What you doing, hey, man? man? We're just trying to record some stuff, man. I finally found a car that's as loud as my car, guys. That thing is sick. That is a sick setup. Look how pretty that is, boys and girls. Do y'all see that? So is that a full RPM downpipe and everything then? Nice. That is beautiful work. If you guys are ever riding behind me and you wonder why I'm so loud, it's because I run an RPM too. And they said it was supposed to be sport, and it ain't sport. That thing's loud. All right, he's going to give us a little, uh, little Rice Krispie Treats action. We're going to go up that hill right there. That's a big tree shoot that everybody rides up, uh, or a big shoot. It's pretty damn steep. It's a good looking car. Good He's gonna pass through these trees in a second. For you guys wondering why it sounds like that, Maverick R's do cylinder deactivation when they let off the gas, so it's only two cylinders. Nope. Yeah, that thing sounds good. Yeah, cool cars, guys. Not a fan of the downshifts, but very cool cars. Okay, you guys, we're getting ready for our group ride. We got Brian's son over here. He's popping willies in his little car. Pop a willie! Yeah! <laughs> okay, it's time to head to Sand Mountain to go to the face to meet everybody. It's a tidbit chilly. Mountain. We got some people just ripping around, having a good time, enjoying themselves. Well, cool. Starting to rain. We got some dribbles on the machine. It's a little cold. Ugh. I made a bag of snacks. I got string cheese, oranges. I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Water and some fruit snacks. Because if you don't know me, if you're new to the channel, I am all about being prepared and having snacks. Because A, yes, I am pregnant. And B, it's always good to have snacks because you never know what happens and you could be stuck out there and then starving. And nobody wants a hangry friend. So it's about 1 15. So we got 15 minutes where we're going to rip out. It's a little bit cold, but luckily I have this Envy blanket that Jonathan got me from Slow Rags that is waterproof. So it's gonna help keep me warm and dry. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's blowing in now, guys. The flags are blowing. We we'll got 15 minutes. Maybe it'll blow through a little bit. It'll be fine. Rain, so we're shine. Time to ride.
it's raining harder and it makes it very difficult to see out of this windshield. So luckily, though, we're, since we are leading this, at least we don't have the sand kicking up like poor Tig back there. He's got the windshield, he's got the rain, plus the sand from the, the tires in front of him. So it makes it a sloppy mess. But we're trying to have fun. We, fi we finally made it to the backside, to the big bowls, and I just want to ride some big bowls. It's smooth back here for the most part. So this, I mean, this, it's, sand is so wet right now super super thick and wet so that's what ha that's what's happening guys and yeah weather I shouldn't want you I shouldn't need you but I'm afraid that's not up to me Windshield is great until it's not. It's cold. Tig needs a windshield. Have <laughs> you got a windshield wiper, Tig? Oh, there's I Brian. do not. I cannot see anything. <laughs> I know when the nearest is all muddy on top. Yeah, oh, this ours is I, just the water. Burn, bro. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. What's up, man? Where's my windshield wiper on this <laughs> thing, man? Burn, we need it. We're going to bring you along just so you can squeegee our windshield. Yeah. <laughs> He would love that. <laughs> On another note, look at that. Look at that circle over there. Um, I think it's, I want um, I want a snow cone with ice cream. Yeah, I want it to stop raining. I do want it to stop <laughs> raining, but I can sit inside and eat my ice cream. Uh, me I too. know, I thought I, I thought I could speak it to an, into an existence. I can't even talk right now. Th speak it into existence that it was gonna stop raining, but then it just started raining harder. <laughs> okay guys, I had a fun little rip with the group. Had a little rest. I haven't been feeling the best. Uh, a lot of people have been feeling kind of crappy. I didn't even really drink too many apple juices last night or anything. Anyways, we're gonna go for a ride. The sun decided to peek back out. It's been kind of an off and on weekend of uh, just blah. So we're gonna go for a rip. You guys, uh, y'all come with us. Let's go for a ride.
guys, that is a wrap for Easter weekend at Little Sahara 2024. I do want to give a quick shout out to Quaid. So yesterday during our group ride, he came up and look at this. So he did these hoodies. His company's name is Alpha, his group. On the back, he did a little dedication to Spider Tree. Thank you. I love it. And it's a large, so it gives me some breathing room for my growing belly. Also, oh, really quickly, I do want to give a shout out to Brian and Kristen because look how adorable this is. They brought a little outfit for the baby. <laughs> so stinking cute. Well, I guess it, technically it's two outfits, so so cute. Thank you guys. And they also brought Jonathan a hammer. The, inside joke but <laughs> Jonathan said I've never had somebody bribe me a hammer before but anyways <laughs> thanks buddy <laughs> thank you for my hammer <laughs> Thor's hammer so it's time for us to head home thank you guys so much for following along with us this Easter weekend if you haven't already make sure to check out the description below use our code on the glife etv website make sure you go to whiskeythrottlesd.com ticket sales are now live and don't miss your chance to get some racing in at umc for the whiskey throttle race nights this this summer we got four races utv takers utv takeovers coming up and uh we're so excited for utv takeover and of course um check out our friends with rebel style customs you can reach out to Jonathan if you want, but definitely get a cage. If you want your brain to be safe, upgrade that cage. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next Iron Tree. Bye-bye.